Well, I hope you're ready for one wild apocalypse here. Uh, please don't go insane. Of all the apocalypses I've discussed, the one you're about to hear is probably the most mind-boggling of them all. For what will eternity look like? Think of a place where everything has ceased to exist. And all of a sudden, pop, there's a parking lot made out of gold. Or here comes Napoleon Bonaparte, come back to life or the Twin Towers resurrecting themselves. This might sound crazy, don't go insane now, but this is exactly where we're heading, physicists expect. Empty your mind, we're about to take a big leap into the future. Not just a few lousy billions of years, but 10 Google years. And a Google is not the website, it's an official word for a number. And that number is a one with 1,056 zeros. All right. Um, it is the current age of the universe. The current age of the universe is one billion, 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 billion times over. Squeeze the entire history of the universe to the thickness of a dollar bill, and one Google years would give you a pile of money that reaches 100 quadrillion, 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 quadrillion light years high. It wouldn't even fit in our universe. One Google year? That's tra truly staggering, beyond anything a human can even comprehend. But before we j fast forward to times when a human can't even comprehend how far far forward we're talking, let's uh, fast forward to the not so awful far future. For the coming billions of years, scientists predict quite a ride. The sun will explode, the Milky Way will slam into another galaxy, the cosmos might collapse or get torn apart. Scientists can't seem to decide which yet, really. Um, or which one's more likely. And even if the universe doesn't do all, any of that, we're destined to face a weird and horrible crisis, which involves us spending our lifetime as sleeping robots. The problem is, is that the universe gets bigger and cooler ever since the Big Bang. It expands much like an expanding ball of fire after an explosion. After an explosion. Right now, the universe is still young. It has all these cute stars and twinkling galaxies but in the long run, that will sadly change. Slowly and inevitably, the universe will empty itself and become the big nothing. Eventually, the universe will become a dark, sterile place. The problem is, is the universe getting cooler and bigger ever since the Big Bang. It expands much like an expanding ball of fire after an explosion. Right now, the universe is still young. First, the galaxies will fly out of sight beyond the horizon that we could possibly see. Next, the stars in our own galaxy will just burn out, one after another. The only thing that will remain is a dull graveyard of cooled planets, dead suns, and black holes. In about 100 trillion years, the Milky Way will go black. That's what astronomers expect. And eventually, even this graveyard decays. One after another, the dead stars and planets are eaten up by black holes or kicked out of the Milky Way by collisions. Astronomers, astronomers expect that in 100 to 1,000 billion billion years, our galaxy has dissolved completely. And yet, time goes on. After a while more, or trillions of years, something else will kick in. You'll notice that even the very stuff nature is made of isn't stable. A proton, the particle you'll find in the core of an atom has an average life of, uh, oh, a hundred quadrillion quadrillion years. Wait long enough and it will suddenly vanish. Poof! Gone. The same goes for light particles. The so-called photons, they're expected to last a few zero lo zeros longer, but in the end, they too kick the bucket. One after the other. Isn't that just bizarre? The light will go out, literally. The last thing that survives are the black holes. But in the end, too, there'll be nothing left for them to swallow, and they, too, will vanish. They'll evaporate in a puff of radiation, starve to death. So there we are, at our unimaginable one Google years. Finally, the universe is totally and utterly empty. You won't see any light or spot any planet. In fact, 
you won't even find the tiniest speck of dust. The universe has totally sterilized itself. All there is left is emptiness and darkness. Total oblivion. oblivion. And worst of all, there's nothing we can do to stop it. We can build fancy machines or futuristic devices, all we like, but in the end, they all get kicked out of existence, and the matter they are made of simply will vanish. So there you have it, for infinity forward. Boring, must add. But don't, don't sob, there is an upside. As the quadrillions of years keep passing by, something very odd should happen. In eternity, even the rarest events get a chance to occur. Weird, bizarre phenomenon that only happen once in a zillion years or so become quite normal. For example, nothingness should yield a few surprises. Already, physicists know that in a vacuum, there are sometimes tiny little energy blobs, like random fluctuations of the so-called quantum vacuum. Out of nowhere, tiny particles pop in and out of existence. But theory predicts that on that very, very rare occasion, the fluctuation should be a bit larger. Out of nowhere, an entire atom might appear. Or hey, the vacuum might even spit out a few of them. Think of it like static on a TV. Wait long enough, and wait out that random fuzz, and a recognizable image may materialize. You'd have to wait a really long time, but if you waited long enough, one day an episode of The Twilight Zone should accidentally show up. In the universe, this should give some really surprising results. With eternity at hand, the vacuum should begin to yield all kinds of objects. Incoherent lumps of random garbage, most of the time. But on very, very rare occasions, you'll see other objects, objects popping into existence. Boop, the Eiffel Tower tower, a purple camel, a golden park garage filled with chocolate Cadillacs, Napoleon Bonaparte sitting next to Mike Tyson on, to on top of a stack of comic books. As the Google years pass by, it's all there. In the vastness of eternity, even things that are the most impossible become real. Like the sudden appearance of, say, Santa Claus. And the Easter Bunny. In the very, very long run, the vacuum will even belch up complete planets and beautiful stars, burning and all. Theoretically, the vacuum should even turn out a complete solar system one day, identical to ours, with a planet Earth inhabited by people. In an infinite amount of time, one day, I will reappear. As physicist Catherine Fries of Michigan University once put it, and it's crazy thought. But it is true. One day, the black nothingness should even produce another new Big Bang. And admittedly, we'll have to wait for a really long time for it to happen. Researchers at the University of Chicago once tried to even calculate it. And according to their best estimates, it should happen somewhere between the next... Oh, number I can't even say. <laughs> that's, a, that's the one with the 1,056 zeros. You can count them all if you like. <laughs>